All right, welcome everybody. Today is Saturday. It is August 27, 2022. And uh, my name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick. I have a really difficult time speaking personally about Rick and I. I usually stumble on my words and go blank suddenly. I'm just not great at uh, singing our praises. And uh, I'm not sure, quite sure why, but I'll try. About six years ago, some very miraculous and highly spiritual events happened in our lives. And while I was busy saying decrees at night, keeping or raising up my vibration while asking my guides to find my joy, I had no idea it was raising my husband's vibration too while he was asleep in the next room. Um, it was um, at this point that my wish of finding my joy encompassed him without my knowing and it's and he started to see orbs shortly after that and angelic that after that uh angelic beings started and the ascended masters and then creator the perfect white light came one afternoon and merged with his em energies it was uh shortly after that that everything changed rick became a healer and i started receiving downloads of information our gifts have only increased since then and we continue to grow rick has all of the clairs and so do i we share the same higher self in this journey as well. It is our honor to be here today to assist you and your loved ones along uh, along with our esteemed associate, Philip Barrow. My turn? Your, your turn. turn. I've, been a, I've been an healer in many lives for many, many years. And these lives I connect to and they give me information. What I have noticed, even though I've been credited dealer for 20 years, that uh, there's still more knowledge to learn. And, and the knowledge that you gain, if you have the possibility and nothing is impossible, then you don't block any of you. So uh, I think if we did some breathing exercises as well, if anyone wants any healing, because obviously we're doing the animals, but at the, at the end, afterwards, we can do healing for anyone who wants it. So are you going to start us off with the breathing exercises? We can do the Jesus breath. It's in through the nose and out through the mouth. When you're you're releasing it, if you hold it in for a few seconds, when you're releasing it, if you could uh, try and make a sound and picture the breath going through your feet into the earth. So all the toxins are releasing into the earth. And that's three times continue. That. And it's called Jesus breath because that's Jesus that helped me do it a long time ago. Okay, let's begin. And again. We're just doing our, our deep breaths, three of them, releasing in through the nose and out through the mouth and releasing them and trying to vibrate the breathing out and releasing the toxins through our feet, picturing it going through our feet into the earth for those who just joined us. And final, one more. Can I put that on the floor? Keep going. Put it on. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right, we're ready? Hey, all those is, these webinars are free. Um, we do appreciate any donations that anyone can afford to give us. Um, and uh, Lily, if you could put both email addresses, do, if, do you have Phil's? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, thanks. Thank you. All right. You're going to have to get uh, Fifi if you can. I want to bring her through on today's. Okay. We ready to start? Um, I think you're missing, Lily, you for, I don't know if you get Victoria's. I have here Victoria, the first one. Okay, great. Then you then you were here in time. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm <laughs> a, my computer will not work. It will That's not. all right. You're fine. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And now, first, we have Victoria here. Bobby? Yeah, I managed to get in here. Hey, baby. Come, come, come. Boy. Look at mommy. I mean, look, look, look. Oh, wow. so much for that. <laughs> He's doing the snuggle. Yeah. He's been choking. Yeah. He's got the um, the choker on his neck again. It seems like it happened shortly after you fixed it last time, like literally within the same day. I know how to heal him, but I can't seem to remove it. And and if I do remove it, it's all by pure luck. Phil, do you see the implant in Bobby? It looks like yeah. that that keep 
punch thing. Mm -hmm. Victoria, you've got portals opened in your bedroom. Again, those guys did it, right? Yes, they did. I know my um, my back and neck was having problem yesterday. The upper shoulder blade and neck area. Victoria, it's very important that you protect yourself and Bobby. This is another message from Father. You are you're worried about everything else but yourself and Bobby, and this is very important that you protect yourself and Bobby. You're worried about everything else, but this is if you don't take care of yourself and take care of Bobby, you can't help anybody else. Foundation is you and Bobby first. If you, if it's if this if he is that important to you, you need to start at home before you can go out and reach out to anybody else. You're allowing portals to open. You're allowing them to invade your space. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. So when I'm seeing these um, these white lines, like really large images on the ceiling and stuff like that, sometimes I see them. And I'm not really sure what they are. Many of the portals I've seen, they come in different ways. Some of them come in a void space, open up void space coming in. And other times it's like this white line diagram you know what I mean when they're open they're not always available only when I see it if you know what I mean how would I be able to to get rid of this type of black magic and stuff like that I could do healing I could give energy and stuff but I don't always see um an x-ray vision on Bobby or you know what I mean I tried I've tried um every time the angels will come to my rescue and the angels always help to make him feel better but I'm not but they keep coming. So it's, you know, they just keep coming. Because you're allowing it. Your vibration, when your vibration is high enough, they can't touch you. Do you understand that? They can't. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. When your vibration is high, so is Bobby's. He's, a, he's in line with you. When mm -hmm. your vibration is lower, when you're weakened, and you're, when you're in a weakened state is when they can get, come and get to you. This past year, they've attacked Bobby, killed him. And I resurrected him and spent so long, 10 months of no sleep in, in keeping him alive. 10 months. So, and then Dexter came along and I had to keep him alive. And so the vibration dipped, as you know, the situation. But Dexter you know, has to take care of himself. Dexter has yeah. to do his, his job. You have to I'm, do your I'm, job. Yeah, I am free from, from that part. I do less for him, but I only do when there's a real you know, desperate need, you know, type of thing, you know, he's, he's improved and yeah. his vibration is rising. Your, your vibration needs to stay at a, at a minimal yeah. higher where they yeah. can't touch you. And that's where you have to stay where they cannot touch you. Mm -hmm. Very important. And I you know. can do that. You know that mm -hmm. I've seen you, <laughs> I've seen you, you're, you're glowing golden, mm -hmm. but that's my 12th gate. That's basically uh, an ascended master level type of light. So I know they can't touch that and they haven't been able to for, you know, when I was carrying that. They can't get past the fourth dimension, the ne negative ones. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, something hit me. It was um, a minute of laughter can boost your immune for 24 hours. And it just dawned on me, I don't have enough joy in my life because I just keep giving away energy to help others and not yes. enjoy myself and that's yes. what's fun yeah and the joy i have is with bobby and certain things but then with all the chaotic mess that's going around the energies with my home and my father and everybody it's draining yeah so yeah but yeah i'm i also am looking at booking in for programs like dance martial arts and like like phil says Take care of my physical body and yes. i think one of the reasons my my um, vibration is kind of like plateaued out is because it's not because i'm not trying it's because i've been eating low vibrational food and i haven't been eating my vegetarian as much so i'm going back into a um, partial vegetarian more vegetable and um you know what i mean right so it's yes. i'm shifting yes. back to what i have to do but yeah Thank you so much for the reminder. Oh, you're you're all, you're welcome. I mean, there's I'm just channeling the information given to me. I, it's not I can only tell you what um, I'm being told mm -hmm. and what they're showing. The implants are they gone? Um, Phil. 
It's my turn now. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. My, my turn now. Yes. Uh, right. Have you got a pain on your neck or is Bobby? There's some on, uh, on the neck. Some I have pain. I have pain. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure Bobby has pain on the neck too, but I have pain on the neck yeah. and part yeah. of my shoulder blade. Uh, now, this is beyond many that are watching this, but I'll say it to you. So if it is beyond, just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> but I've created a being of light that's linked to you and Bobby. And this looks, if you if you looked at it remote viewing, it's like a chipmunk. Oh, right. so cute. You you can name it, and it eats implants and it eats negative energy. Okay. All right. So after doing it so long, I, I thought I'll just give you a, a trick okay. that, that that is not really in this uh, realm. <laughs> so I'm breaking a few rules there, but it doesn't matter. It's made of light, and uh, just just name it and say hello to it now and again. Uh, yeah, the implants have been. Done. I've got one of these and I, it showed this new light being out to do. Uh, it also gets rid of negative energies. I'm not sure mm -hmm. about the portal, uh, the portal though. I haven't got rid of the portal yet, but all the trackers, all the implants. So. Thank you. That I, did, explains, I, yeah. I, I did, yeah, I didn't go through the implant because it'd be the same place I went to last week. And obviously it, the change in locations and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it, if, if you don't, if that doesn't resonate with anyone, just let it go. <laughs> but I I've, I've, I've created these beings for decades and I, I don't normally say it. I've said it on like YouTube so because people can use it for darkness. Okay, what did you feel? Did you say? Um, I believe when you were removing the implant immediately because my, my energy can rise up Kudalini. Yeah. I, I started glowing again. All right. But last week when we did the healing, you gave me a little bit of energy. Mm -hmm. I was vibrating, and but I, I crashed out that afternoon, evening. I literally crashed for the whole evening. I don't yeah. know why that. I, I gave you a bit of my soul energy, didn't I? <laughs> well, thank <laughs> you. There you go. Yeah. But I got the perfect name for it, that chipmunk. I'll call him. Mine's so cool. he can chip off, chip yeah, off all the implants. And the reason why, it's, it was a squirrel I invented to do this on mine to, to help me while I was doing work at the healing center and it sounded like a chipmunk like the film so that's why I, that's why i call it a chip and mine's called bob so. <gasps> bob <laughs> just like my bobby <laughs> yeah it is i never thought of that so there you go no. do, you want, do you two want a card sure so what was that <laughs> do the card first yeah stop please uh, first one's for bobby second one's for you always I think the first one's to you actually take care of your body meditation. There you go. Mm -hmm. I've been starting to do that again. Yeah. So you mm -hmm. got to take care of your physical body, like you were saying you do. Mm -hmm. what's, what's the other one? Meditation. The meditation, mm -hmm. sometimes your mind is fuzzy, it needs to calm down with meditation. I've been going off on a journey. What, um, in yesterday's uh, meditation, I went in the portal, the 5D yeah. portal, yeah. and saw a few things. And I'm not even sure if that's the current present or whether it's a future thing but there the um, as soon as I entered the the white light just my, my energy just went back to the white light aura it's just like very different from from this plane but yeah it, I go on journey I don't even know if that's normal because usually um, in the past when I did meditation I didn't follow anyone I just did it because it was just something I knew I had to do and so I managed to raise my vibration up to the 12th gate and higher at that point when all my chakras did. I did it without any teacher, without any video, without any tools. I just did it. And so um, this time around, but every time I do some breath work, go really deep in, I'm literally zipping off. And I'm not even sure if that is a, a normal thing or whether it's just that's what I do when I get to that state, you know. So when I'm doing medit meditation, am I supposed to just sit there and just stay put and keep the vibration and the chi just healing the body and the work field? Or am I supposed to zip up in this meditation? Whatever, whatever you fancy. Whatever comes first in your mind. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, Sui. Thank you. <clears throat> Lily? And the next one is Celia. Celia is requesting for... No, I think Jackie's next. 
Oh, I think Jackie, where's Jackie? Right below Victoria. Yeah. Oh man, I cannot see. I cannot see Jackie. Okay. Okay, then okay. I cannot see her. Well, I'm is sorry. That Chopper. Chopper, yes. Chopper. Yeah. Chopper. Chopper is next. Yes. Six, Do you six, need to see six, him or have you looked at him enough to know him or we know Chopper? Um I, inside I, and out. Um have so you've seen Chopper enough, haven't you? Why? Because let's see, where's Chopper? He's laying down there. There he is. Uh, I'm not good with this. Jack's so much better. Jack, can you do this thing? Can you do this Jack? stupid aperture? Hi, Jack. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Says Jack. If you can get the computer, if you can get the image on Chopper, I do a terrible job. There he is. Oh, he's so There's sweet. Chopper. He's our baby. We pin him so we can see a big picture of him. And he's sleeping. Oh, and there's uh, Linus. There goes fatty, fatty, bo batty. And low Linus. <laughs> <laughs> that cat can feel some energy, and, um, I'm telling you. Linus, Linus's butt's in there. <laughs> Linus, move your butt. Come here. Move butt. Move butt. Okay. I know. I know, darling. Uh, Chopper's, Chopper's um, allergies are really bad. Yes. His ears are really bad. He's walking more wobbly than he has. It's 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 all, it's like a middle ear infection. You know, his sinuses are dripping so badly into his ear. It's causing like vertigo. Okay, I can take it back now. I think. Are you three looking at him? Yeah. 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 Okay, because I was going to talk to you guys. Okay, what do I need to do, or what? Just sit back, and let you guys do it. It's something we need to dry up his um, drippies. Um, Phil. He's having a hard time hearing. His ears have got so much scar tissue in them. And now with the allergies, it's closed up his ears so much. He, she, he doesn't even hear anymore. It's so inflamed in there. And there's so much gunk dripping in his ear. I don't know if you can see that. You're not hearing what I'm hearing. So inflamed. All right, I'm inside. His eardrums need to be healed. Let's we clean up the gunk. What you um? What you see, Phil? Uh, does he have a bad butt? A lot of energy. He has a congenital hip dysplasia that causes him to wobble, kind of really, really weak hip. Could be, but it depends because he's it's and it's very hard with animals. But I could feel uh, the energy that was quite not wanted, so that's been released. Good. Uh, uh, actually, it, it actually cracked me back <laughs> of doing it. It's quite weird. It comes through. Transfer is over. Uh, his allergies so difficult trying to put reprogram because he's getting on a bit now. How old is he? He is. He's thirteen. Yeah, it's very difficult to reprogram a brain so old. It's thirteen. Um, is he's getting a natural diet? He's getting chicken and rice and sweet potatoes and green beans which I haven't seen any improvement. I haven't, since we've switched over, he's not having seizures anymore since we've switched. Apart from that. Well, I went in and um, actually took a vacuum on the inside of his sinus and his throat and kind of removed all the mucus and all the crap in there. And I saw that he, his, his eardrums needed to be healed. That's why he can't hear. So they're perforated. One of them is. The right one? Yes. Okay. I have washes that I can put in there, but if they're perforated, I can't put the washes in. Don't, so. this, don't do anything. Um, I think it just got inflamed where it, it, it damaged the eardrum. So, it, you know, they, they will heal. It will heal. So, so there's a lot of energy in there now. Let's see how he does in the next few days. Let me know. What, you know. I will let you know. When we have and our then, coffee. <laughs> we have our coffee. Um, maybe with the coming of fall or autumn, the um, allergies will die down slightly because he's a grass lover. He has to ground in the grass, which is the worst thing for him. All dogs loves, have to ground in the grass. They all he have loves to. it. He loves it. He loves it. And probably part of his pain remediation. It's not the grass he's allergic to. It's whatever is um, in the grass, whether it's from the trees or whether it's something that's being sprayed or whether it's chemtrails. The grass is not what he, he's allergic to. He's not allergic to the grass. He's allergic to the spray that's put on the grass. Yeah. 
then I think we need to stop. And we've talked about this before. Stop spraying the grass. So we just need to give them a call. Just do not come by and spray our grass anymore. Anymore. Let's see if, and I mean, simple enough. Unfortunately, the chemicals in it is just not good for him. Can we do that, Jack? Okay. We'll just have to cancel the grass. What What is it that they're spraying? We don't know. They, it's one mixture that they spray on everybody's grass. It doesn't matter. It'll be a weed killer. It'll be a fertilizer. It'll be whatever. They don't do specific for your yard. They just do one mixture. Oh, it's the homeowners? No, it's uh, you just hire companies and they drive around with these water tanks in the back of the truck oh. and they just spray your yard. What we could do is get personalized fertilizer or something at the hardware store. We have a little tiny hardware store up here that's really cool and just run the little gizmo back and forth across the yard and it wouldn't have the poisons in it. Maybe, maybe, no guarantees. You can use that fish emulsion for fertilizer. We have almost, we have 0.59 Acres. You know how big our yard is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it stinks. You won't have any company coming over. <laughs> oh, that stuff is, I'm, I put it on a lot of things. I do. It's great. It is great. Susan, the tree is looking a little puny. She may be doing another tune up. I may go give her another little dose. Anyway. Um, <laughs> That's all I can do for Cha Cha then is just uh, we can't keep him out of the grass. So, yeah, um, we can stop that. Save no harm, no foul. We'll just stop it. Yeah. OK. Well, all right. Thank you for going inside of his ear. And I'll just thank you for doing that. Bless his heart. And he walks well, funny. And I don't know that we can do anything about his walk either. Well, Any messages from Father or Archangel Michael or Raphael or what I need to do? Raphael, Raphael, Raphael. Uh, can, can, can I say one thing, Jackie? My Paradian, yes, my Paradian colleague who helps me healing has done something, but he says it's beyond my knowledge, so I'm not sure what he's done. But he's done something with the ear, ears and also the walking. So let me know if it's... Um, I will. I'll, I'll have to have a word with him tonight so let's see what he's done. He's because saying, it's... He didn't want to share it. So. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, I will let you know. We'll give it two days and then I'll I'll send you a note. Mm. Just send you a text. Um, thank you, guys. You, well, you're done with the cha-cha and Linus is here, but I think Linus is fine. Linus just rocks on. You want a yeah, card? Line, you Linus, card is, for you or... Linus is great. Yeah, a card, please, for either yes. Chopper for me. But I, um, I do. Before we end the day, um, uh, my uh, the ancestors said we need to do, we need to do something with Jack. Jack, something needs to be done with you. The ancestor said. Okay, he just gave his, me this funny, funny yeah, little grin. His back and his knees. Your back and your knees. Oh, they know about your back and your knees. The ancestors saw. Yes, he has back and knees. He does. He has problems. <laughs> well, they, they, they're letting me know that. Um, his ancestors spoke to the, the, all the ancestors got together and said, before the end of this meeting today, we need to do healing on his back and knees. I just got that message. So she just got the message. Do you want him to come back later? And no, do no, that? no, no. Before we're doing people after we do the animals. Okay. After the animals. Okay. Got it. Got it. Uh, I'm still waiting. The ants. I'm still waiting to stop. You know, <laughs> my hands are getting a bit, they quite big. Cards. Oh, 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 stop, <laughs> stop. Heavens. What? He's, he's shuffling. Oh, sorry. And he's also just being filled. Manifestation. Mm. I'm all about that. Wow. I can shop with the best of them. <laughs> it, it's, it's, basically, it's basically to say he's going to receive peace and uh, happiness on his path. So, Good. Yeah. yeah. Good. Phil, Phil, give Jackie a card. Too. It'll say shopping, shopping, shopping. But no. Um, that wasn't name. me. What are you talking about? I just said, asked Phil if he could give Jackie a card. Oh, Jack, the hu husband? Jackie, no. No, Jackie, oh. the female, the Famali. Oh, but that was for, um, that was for that was Chopper. Chopper's card? Yeah. 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 The Chopper's going to manifest some peace, I hope. Oh, oh, stop. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Stop. He's going to manifest Marley. <laughs> I've got to paint more on Marley's head. I didn't realize it was all black. Up there. I, I, feel but, like, I, I feel these cards yeah. in reverse, actually. Playfulness. <laughs> yeah, fit fun on your journey. So, Mar yeah. uh, Chopper fell in love with Marley, my granddaughter's dog. Boy, did he ever. 
Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> he was obsessed. I mean, he could have been, well, I, I won't even say. And he's that so one big ride. and she's so little, the little pug and this big, huge dog. We had to keep them separated. <laughs> it didn't matter. He was still interested. <laughs> anyway. Okay, thank you guys. And Jack will return. You guys say when and uh, he'll return. Uh, I'm going to mute now. Thank you very much, Phil. Love Thank you. you very much, Deb and Rick, and love you guys very mm -hmm. much. Thank you. Bye. Love you too. And you need to move. I'm, yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. Okay. Bye. All right, Lily, darling. Uh, let's see. It's funny, but I still cannot see Jackie's request. It's so funny. I really can't for, see it. I think it's Bonnie. For me, for me to you have Bonnie next to the for me to be me or something. Is that what you have? Lily? No, I don't. It, it, I don't it is, so. it is hey, for Bonnie. me to be me. Yeah, that's yeah. Bonnie. Isn't yeah. it Bonnie? Is your name Bonnie? For me to yeah, be it's me? Yeah, Bonnie, but where yeah. is it? Wait, I cannot see it. Yeah, see, I thought you had, you were missing part of it. Yeah, Jackie's at, at 6.11 on the time. Yeah, you're missing part of the top. That's what yeah, I thought. Yes, correct. Because I came in late. Yes, so oh, it's, it's Bonnie next. Next Bonnie. Um, but it was for me as a person, but I think Diane or somebody had a request for their dog. So oh, okay. So you don't you have wanna... any dog. You want your then we put you at the I think I'm... we put you at the bottom of the list, Bonnie. I'm kidding. <laughs> Lily, Lily. Celia. Celia. Yeah, Celia. yeah, for her birdie. Celia. Yes. Which one this time? The new one. Is that the kitchen oh. finch? It's the house finch. House yeah. finch. Okay. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. In a little shock. How how long have you had it? Uh, July 29. I think it, it was only like one week old. No feathers, nothing. Oh, you've done well. Yeah. I fed it um, cat food and egg, hard boiled egg. And I wanted to know, right now, uh, she munches on apples and the seeds, the small seeds, uh, still begs for food. I still feed and, um, you know, pureed um, cat food and hard-boiled egg. Can I put it down now? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you. I wanted to find out if I'm feeding him properly or I need to change the diet. And also, if I should I keep him or should I let it go? I really wanted to let it go because she's a wild bird. But if she's going to be depending the uh, food from me, then I, I don't want to be. Uh, I, I would um, try and let it go, uh, but leave, leave food out for it in case, like outside. Mm -hmm. Open the cage and see if it goes. Do you have a mm -hmm. small cage? I It's a temporary cage. My husband just put together something because you know we we don't know if we're going to keep him or i would put it outside and outside. see if it comes back if it okay. you know and i would I, do you have wild bird seed yes i, I would use the leave some wild bird seed in it in case it comes back um and slowly just release it and then if it just stops coming back then you're fine i see okay it has to find its own family yeah. type of um, you know, flock yeah and it, you did a really good job. It's really healthy. Oh, it's, it's very good. strong. It's got a lot of strong power energy on it, so it should be okay outside. Yeah, yeah. He's but he's behaving like a terrible dude, though. You know, he, he does what he wants to do. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I I rescued a marsh wren before. Uh, that time, if I call it, if I whistle, it comes to me. So when I let it go. I tried for two weeks. Every time I'm going to turn my back, go inside the house, it's going to fly back to me. So, but then when, when uh, the last time I saw him is when, he, when she found a mate, she brought it to me and then flew off. It's like, bye. <laughs> yeah. But this time, this one is not. I mean, he doesn't come to me. I have to, to get him. He flies off. I have to get him. He doesn't fly back. That's why I'm afraid to... Uh, let it go uh, don't be afraid they have to they have to be on their own they really do yeah i i know yeah, but yeah. Just, i'll try that's probably better because he's not relying on you he's doing his own thing yeah so he's not going to go to probably unions he'll do what he wants to do so in the wild that's probably the best <laughs> thing to do
Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Moment, but Celia, you would like to request also for healing later? Later, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Just one thing, uh, the bird's got romance, so. Okay. <laughs> so when you're letting go, it'll be all right. <laughs> it needs to find its mate. Uh, they're monogamous too, I know. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Should we go to the next, Debbie? Um, Diane. Diane for her dog, Rugs. Hiya. Uh, Hi, Diane. Hi, dear. I'm going to try and get the camera down to him. He's asleep at the minute, so let me just... You see him? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Phil, I see an implant in this dog. Mm -hmm. You go, Phil. I go. My turn. Yeah, he's, it seems he's got a lot of, he's not got a lot of energy. So, uh, you there? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, my chipmunk's out his implant. Oh, said it, good. said it was nice. He also sucked a lot of, he had some negative energy on his aura field. He sucked it All in, right. transmuted it, <laughs> threw it back in. I didn't it looked like he was under attack to me. He was yeah. like under attack. Yeah, I don't know how he. I've never seen my buddy, my my colleague, do that before. That was quite an eye opener. So oh, his, his aura cool. feel was quite low. His energy was quite low to the yeah. point I was I was quite concerned with him. But uh, obviously yeah. the implants drawing a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. He's fourteen and he's um. Yeah, he's getting on. Yeah, he's getting on. His breathing's quite um laboured. Mm. at times but at other times he's hopping about still still um mm. but yeah he has he has good. i was shocked when i when you put the camera on him and then i saw the implants and i was like yeah why are they attacking him mm. i don't understand I, I was very concerned but then the implant are part of the problem and the negative energies around his aura fit so uh, but i was very to be honest i was very worried <laughs> yeah so yeah i know and he sleeps a lot as he's doing now, you know, but he's kind of... Well, that's well he had no choice. He had no choice. I mean, they were they were sucking him of everything, his life force. Mm. Um, have you, do you know anybody that's um, doing black magic at all around you? No, not at all, no. Not at all. Have you felt any dense energy? I haven't, no, but I was going to maybe ask for a scan later as well, just to check, you know, if there's anything, but... I don't have no, I can't really see if I feel anything. I don't know whether they're trying to get to you then. I know how much you love your dog. And that's why the only thing I can think of is they're trying to to get to you through the dog. Yeah. Mm. Is he, is he, think he looks better now? Are you into Yeah, it, yeah, he's, he's sort of gone into a more deep, I think, before his eyes were flickering and he was quite, he wasn't quite settled, but he certainly has nodded off now, I would say. Yeah, if you ever see the replay, just watch his ears change. Okay, that, that's, okay. that's when the implants are removed. Oh, oh right. not eat, eaten. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks very much. Just say stop. You can have a card for it. Stop, please. I think some blessing or some forgiveness. It's very difficult with animals. Forgiveness. Oh, mm. What does that mean? I've got to try and work that one out. <laughs> he's never angry anyway. No, he's not. It's a happy yeah, result. so I don't, I don't make sense. Do you want another one? I'll bin that one. <laughs> Think about uh, anything, any changes or anything different that happened in your life that, that um, in the last, because like, we haven't seen you in a few months, have we? No, no. Just think about anything different, something or somebody you met, somebody that could be different. Okay. And then get back to me or get back yeah. to Phil and I. Um, about, just, yeah. just say stop because I think you'll get blessed. Yeah, divine guidance. Oh, that's better. Divine guidance. That's a bit like a blessing card, isn't it? That's mm -hmm. what I'm with. It. So uh, you'll, you'll remember. You'll, you'll remember, and it, it'll yeah, come yeah. to you after after this. I know it will. I'll have a think about it, and I'll definitely yeah. let you know. Thank yes. you very much. Thank yeah, you. that means your prayers are being answered by universal law. So what, whatever you want being answered, oh, or your or yours is. I'm not sure how it works. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. Thanks very much. All right. Hey, the next one, Libby, for your two kittens. You're muted. It's trying to get the picture for the kittens in the video. Do you want to go get her, Fifi? Picture of her. I think I may have a picture of her. Hold on. Um, These are two kittens. I'm, I'm trying to do it myself, but my, my computer's not working very well. I think I have one. Now, <laughs> I can't bring up their picture. 
and show you. So I'll just ask for a prayer for the kittens. They were found in a dumpster and they were diagnosed with herpes. And it's very sad looking. And I really don't want people to see this. I had requested Lily to call on me last because I didn't want people to see this. So if we could pray for the kittens, would that be all right? I just got this phone and I have no clue how to manage. Uh, I don't have the picture in my hand to hold up for you. Uh, So I'll just ask for a prayer because you all are connected to God and that you need God. They with you? No. Good friend in Mississippi posted this morning asking for prayers. And so I thought I would try and, and put them up. But I can't do it. So so um, I'm going to wait and have a healing. Um, what is that Jackie just saying? What did Jackie, I, I missed that. See, do I hit the share button? I just said it was the second cat that I have heard of being diagnosed with herpes. However, um, the herpes on the one cat was a misdiagnosis, it turned out. Um, but there's this is starting to come out into the forefront of news now. And so... Um, that's all I had to say. Okay. Thank you. I'm out. You're welcome. Hmm. These are brand newborn kittens. So anyway, I'll go last and ask for a healing for my bones for me. Okay. Okay. That's all I know to do. Do you know, I've got the picture of the two kittens and I can't share the screen somehow. I don't get why I can't. What? It's green. I know, I know. I press it and I can't get it. It's at the bottom there in the corner. It's weird. Yeah, but you can see them, Phil. Uh, yeah, oh, but may, it okay, if I remove the pin, go ahead and try now. A minute. Do I? What is it? Has all the screens available and I don't see the cat and uh, the two cats yet. I've got it up on my screen. I don't, I, I'm really confused. Hit the green button that says share. Screen. I know, I know what I'm <laughs> doing. I'm not daft. But when you press <laughs> share screen, I'm sorry. when you press share screen, is loads of different things come up. And then hit, hit share screen again. There you go. That, I done it. But that wasn't in the, you know, the little box. It wasn't there. It was a blank uh-huh. square. Oh. There, you, there you go. Are those the kittens? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Should I stop sharing now? Yeah. There you go. Okay, thank you, Libby. We've um, done what we can for them. Thank you. Great. Yeah. They're not very well. They're not very well. They're not. Um, no. I, don't th- I think one of them didn't make it already. Um, already. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Lily, you have a kitty? Lily? No, but we still have Janine. Oh, Janine? Yeah, Janine first. Where is it? Here. Janine? Hello. Hi. Hi. I sent a picture and email, but um, I don't. My computer's down as well. I, I I'm quite sure this is a thing. This when you use it to do good for the world. They, did you Did you send it to me? Yes. Your Your main love teach learn site. He'll teach love. He'll teach. Yes. Um, it was a recent fresh picture just this morning because she is. I was just telling my sister, she's scary sick. She's crawling around the house like a, like a Navy SEAL um, and hiding under the beds and concerned. She's hanging out again, something. And she's way skinny. When you try and touch her, you can feel her ribs. I've never seen her this skinny. Have you seen it, though? Have you seen her? She's the blind kitty, remember? Yeah. If you can't find it, I can go find it. I got uh, it. Oh, you see okay. it? Okay. Yeah, she was under a bed, and my other cat was trying to get in the way. Sorry. All right. How old is she? I want to say less than three, maybe wow. two years, two and a little bit. But she got thrown out of a car, and we bottle fed her. You should say she's crawling, creeping, like crawling. Yeah, like a like a Navy SEAL, you know, in the I don't know boot camp or what, you know, just. Yeah, stealth crawl. Each day she gets weirder and weirder. It's, you know what? She's feeling energies. I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> she can't see, but she can sure feel energies. Yeah, I think I told my sister a week ago. I said I think something's terrorizing her because she's been yes. acting a bit again. 
I, 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 I want to tell, I want to explain something to people that um, our animals are being attacked and I am, I am not taking this lightly because I'm really, and I'm talking to the Ascendant Masters about this. I'm talking to it every day. It's bothering me because I've, we've had, I don't know how many cats over the years. I've never had cats with dental problems ever, ever. Mm -hmm. And I have a cat that's skin and bones right now because of her teeth. I've never taken them to the vet where they said, well, we have to put her under and we have to clean her teeth in all the years I've had cats no. and ever at $400, at $400 that wow. they want $400 to do that. And I looked at them and I, I mean, they, they want to clean their teeth. When has that ever had been an issue? Sophie, her cats had teeth problems. Nobody, I mean, no, and in all the years, I'm telling you, we've had many, many, many cats. And I'm not saying one cat, four at a time, mm -hmm. most times. <laughs> And they've yeah. lasted 20, 22 years, these cats. I've never had a tooth problem. Um, I've had, I mean, I, I've got, my cat has today, and then I'm going to show you a picture. And the same one that's, that's got teeth problems, she's got an implant. I saw her this morning. I looked at her and, and Rick looked at her and I, and I saw this implant. Now, cat, animals should not have implants. They're, they're going after our animals now. They can't get to us. We're, we're, they're they're implanting they're abusing our animals and this has got to stop yeah hello 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 wow i'm all, i'm also picking up with she's still in a lot of trauma from from the accident years ago it's still, yeah. it's still a lot of trauma she could feel energy she, i mean she's walking she's walking like a combat soldier soldier she could feel mm -hmm. energies there's something that she's feeling around her um i don't feel like she's sick but there's yeah. energy something she could feel it she can't see it but she could feel it mm -hmm. yeah she's definitely hiding and um i mean she stays hidden all the time which is so abby normal and i haven't seen anything um and i keep the place cleared as much as i can but it should all like wanding the place i mean i i bring in big pillars of energy through the home the center of the home daily fresh every day and and have it the place grounded but um you're not the only one there i don't know what else i could do now my it's my sister's family home so there's my sister brother-in-law and my, and my mother in a wheelchair and then the grandkids live just next door so it's like a flop house <laughs> we just it's very busy it's like very busy yeah and you don't know what's happening to her when you're not there. Everyone helped her stay alive. Three of us hand fed her and she stayed in a little box for a week. So everyone loves her. She's the, not the, she's the house cat, but besides our own kitties. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Something's not right. I don't see any implants in her, but I feel like she's feeling energies. It's something. Well, the McCall, the McCall we have <clears throat> still is very aggressive to me but it's not screaming out like it used to be so i didn't think it might be the house itself because you've already cleared something major on my sister's end so i'll just keep working or leave home the birds usually like the cats yeah no she's aggressive to me the bird the but, macaw yeah well <laughs> female female birds like males male birds <laughs> like females yeah just saying, I've released some of her trauma. I've connected to her little soul, so there might be a little, there might be a little change. I think. I'll check that later. Yeah, I just heard um, what you said earlier. I had to write it down, Philip. Um, the transference and energy when you're working on somebody, I get the same thing, and I was like, I never heard anyone say it like that. But when I'm, I'm doing people's feet foot re reflexology, or when I'm working on them I can feel whatever I'm working on in me and I'm like this is not normal I've been doing it forever but you said it out loud I'm like I'm not <laughs> alone what it is so long as the uniform the energy field is not the same energies you can ground it easy it's when you meet one in a million that's very similar to you you've got to really be careful that it can it, it can anchor on but it's their problem so you're yeah. taking it into you and it can't hold on to your, your energy field. Gotcha. Okay. So. Oh, it's exciting. Okay. All right. We'll talk more. Thank you guys. Yeah. Do a quick you're stop. You're welcome. I feel Set better just knowing.
a, a quick stop. Stop. I think it'll be something like I like guessing these blessings or guardian angels or something like that. Focus. <laughs> no, it's not that. I got one right with last week. Focus. Focus. So basically, more into it, nice. more intuition on your journey. So I don't think it could be the it could be the cat. It's very confusing with it being a cat. It's different, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's Lily. Yes, that's my butch. I make a video. Butch, it is so sweet. <laughs> Look at that. He's my companion always. And I, and we spent four, nearing 500 that euro for this for his teeth. <laughs> he looks the boss. <laughs> Does he fixed? Yes. Has he ever had any problems with his urine? Crystal no. crystals in his urine? No, I cannot notice. No, you'd know because he'd have a problem peeing. He'd cry yeah. when he'd cry when he peed. Oh, his toilet is downstairs. So I cannot see it. I cannot see him peeing. But I will observe him. No, I'm going to take care of it. Okay, thank you. So I see a little little crystals in his urine, like in his bladder and his urine. Mm. It's very strong, really. Very strong cat. Very powerful. Mm -hmm. He was a fox before he was a cat. Wow. He loves coming with me around wherever I go. He was a black panther, too. Yeah. You told me that also before I showed yeah. you. He has healing. He showed me himself before. I could see it. Wow. It's beautiful. He had the same color eyes. Same exact color eyes. Yeah, like bronze. He turned 13, 13 last May. He's in good health. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I'm always worried when they turn a year older. <laughs> I always worry about I need to grow older. Yeah. Are there any more, any more animals? Because I'm going to bring through my... um. No more. Our, our no. cat. So you want to do a card? Think... Oh, a card for her, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, yo. My card. Give me. Emerging. What? Emerging. That Emerging. basically means, uh, means that the cat is awesome. Wow. <laughs> Which I don't need a cat for that. <laughs> I like yeah. a card. A card, Amanda. He's a very loyal friend. He's always protecting me, especially when I go in the cellar. He's always there. Okay, now... When, when I was actually connected, I wanted to cough. So I'm not sure if I got some some out and took some off him. I just don't know. So, I, I wanted to, so that's good, because if he has got anything, it's, it's good. <laughs> okay, now what we're going to do, Debbie, for the humans now? Yeah. Um, can I do my cat? Okay. This is Sophie, or Fifi. This is about to She's like a skin yeah. and bones right now. This is when she was a little, much healthier. This was uh, probably 14 years ago. <clears throat> it's her teeth and gums. We think it's her teeth and gums. She has an implant, just like the ones that look like a, a key punch, like a, like a, the ones that we had the other day, Phil, mm, yeah. in her head, in her forehead. What? Is it a she, did you say? She's at, she had two. What? She had two. Not surprised. Bob said uh, they're delicious. I'm going to see if you, I'm going to have you look at my other ones since we're so emotionally attached to these animals. Uh, one more. This is our 19 year old. When was that picture, Deb? Huh? When was the picture taken? A uh, long time ago. He's got a tumor on his chin. He's, his hips are bad and he's now can't hear us. That might be a good thing. <laughs> Sorry. It's bad when we're looking for him because they can go outside during the day. They, they can't at night because of the coyotes here. But when we're looking for him and he happens to be sleeping somewhere in the backyard, I have to get a whistle. Can't hear. He might hear the frequency. Yeah, much higher pitch. He can smell tuna fish when I open it <laughs> or when I'm cooking fish. He knows. He comes running with that while limping along. He's the best cat. They're all really good cats. And, he's, and I know you can hear Marley, the female, snoring like a male. She's so fun. Can you hear her? Hi, Deb. Oh, oh, thank you. My boy. All right. I think I did that wrong. There. Ah, oh, thank you. Thanks, Phil. You're welcome. It's hard to do your own animals. You're so emotionally attached to them. I've tried and tried and tried. Okay, Marley. 
You're getting a little bit too loud, lady. <laughs> She's too much. Did All I, right. Deb, did I have a, I did a gerbil once and lived two weeks. It was fine. But she's a world record, a world record for her gerbils. <laughs> Who is no, what? No, an hamster. It was an hamster. Yeah. It was dying. It was on its last legs. Me, me, two girls who were seven and ten at the time said, Dad, can you fix it? And they <laughs> gave me that sad face like, uh, like puss in boots. And when it came, it was on its legs, kicking one leg out. When it came back, it was like a, like a new book. <laughs> wow. <laughs> lived to its five-year-old. She's a world record, funny enough. But, wow! Uh, I'll just show you that. When we first got him, he escaped from the box that we had while we were in the shop, and he lived in the car for a week. And it was minus ten. He was living in the fiber underneath the steering wheel. So I had to wow. I had to do a trap. Wow! All yeah. right. So we have some healing. Um, is it Bonnie first? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Bonnie first for humans. Human healing. Bonnie. Hey. Hi. Hey. It's this been an interesting week. Oh, yeah? Continuation? Um, actually, no. Um, the hip and my back was feeling great until yesterday. Um, all the cats are surrounding my trailer, which is fine. And I had to laugh when you showed your last K-Deb, the, the newest addition. They're not my cats, they're the neighbors, but they all come over and they surround my trailer. The newest one is Itty Bitty, and he reminds me of Batman the black and the this is all white but it's he's got a black man and it it's cute um there's one female the rest are all male and she's got it going on she's um (laughs) but last night when i went to walk duke my dog um the neighbor's puppy got out um duke loves everybody but he goes so fast to meet them that the leash got caught up in my ankle and i went on the ground and now i'm having very sharp pains in my right under my right rib cage all the way all the way around to the back i just feel like i got bruised i felt to make sure that the rib was still in socket it doesn't feel like it's out or anything um but it is making it difficult to breathe did you fall on your ribs fall on your back uh, it's the second time in three weeks that i mean i literally fell flat on my face and i think I'm not really sure. It wasn't so much my elbow. It whatever I hit, but it's ex, it's extremely painful. It looks like you cracked a rib. Do, do, you, know, do, do you know, Deb? I was thinking that before. I was thinking of you had your ribs. You can't do anything with ribs anyway. So you know, they just can't. They just got to let it fix itself. Or we can speed it up. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I haven't been able thing. to work. And mm. I own my own company, and I haven't been able to work in six weeks. So now I have the landlord's harassment and it's like this is just too much Hmm. okay you might feel a lot i have the heating pad on too should i take it off no but then you're good you'll be used to the heat you feel it on both sides though i can feel pain in your neck as well yeah so hence why i have eucalyptus oil because it helps me open up the airwaves so i can at least breathe right now you're wrapped in a cocoon of energy from the top of your head down to your knees I can see this energy between Phil and creator energy from us. So you're in this like bubble. <coughs> you could manage to um, stay on your feet. You want me to stand up? No. If you could manage to stay on your feet from now on, you'd heal nicely. <laughs> How, how's your rip? Any difference? So kind of it's lighter. Mm. What, what what I try and do is I try and channel a little high vibrational frequency right direct on the break and melt it and then form it back to normal. That coffee is probably uh, negative energy. Yeah, I don't have a mint. Your back should be better now. Well, your neck. Yes. Okay, so this energy again will stay with you for the next seven days. Drink a lot of water. Cheers. Do you want a car, by the way? Yes, you guys froze on me. Oh, do, there you we go. A, do you want a card? Do you want a card? Yes, please. Stop. Oh, it says that watch out for how you walk. Gu- guardian angel. So you got a guardian angel behind you. He's a behind you, so he's will help you. So that's all it's saying. It's basically saying you've got a guardian angel. Talk to it, he'll help you. He obviously didn't protect you a few days ago. Right, was it yesterday? It happened. It last night, actually. 
Yeah, so when I seen your post, I thought, well, gosh, Bill must have known what happened or something. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Try, try, and be, try and be safe for a few weeks. because We're not doing it next week, I don't think. No, we're not. <laughs> well, I'm doing my best, y'all. <laughs> the neighbors are disrespectful. They don't respect boundaries. Yeah, so give it two weeks before your next injury. Pardon? <laughs> if you can have a, if you can wait two weeks for your next uh, injury. <laughs> I would prefer none at all, y'all. I've got, I mean, I don't know if I have to move or not. So being not being able to function that way is just not working for me at all. Makes you wonder. My best, though. No, it makes you wonder if there's a reason because we sort sum it out and then something else comes. So is your reason why all this is happening? Yes, because we're becoming so I we're becoming self-sufficient and we went through all the accountability and reaching out to other agencies during the week. And yesterday was a big Two, the last two days were big days and it was right when I was like tired. So I'm like, well, I'm going to walk the dog so I can just lay down. And that's when it happened. So the neighbor, the other neighbor came out and I don't smoke weed, but I'm glad because he gave me some, I smoked it and I was out like a light just so I could rest. It's also illegal here. So not here, but I'm very <laughs> grateful. Mm. I, I don't normally need it. I, I can usually put myself in that state, but I couldn't, I could not breathe at all. It was extremely painful. Now I know why. Thank you guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. Lily? Yo, the next one is Jack. Jack? I don't know. Come over here and just come be. Your husband come, come is computer. Jack and then Jackie? No, not Jackie. It's, I'm done. It's just it, Jack. We're both Jackie. Oh, He's Jackie. Yeah. I'm Jackie. So <laughs> you're doing he Jackie. He Jackie. Do you need the mouse? Hi. Hello. Hiya. You got called out. Yeah. Well, here, just put them on. <laughs> just put them on. Boy. <laughs> Can you hear? Oh, we can't hear you. Do you have the headphones in? The audio is connected to the headphones. Turn the headphones off on the, turn your phones off, headphones off. They're off. I still can't hear you. you see the audio button on the bottom? The microphone button? Connected, connected to this to the um the computer the laptop audio don't get frustrated that he doesn't like it <laughs> i hear you do i hear you how come i heard you for a minute i can hear you yeah. okay i can hear you okay <laughs> there we go because you have the microphone near your mouth now yeah. okay now let can you move the laptop into his lap there we go all righty <laughs> welcome jack <laughs> Welcome. How are you guys? I'm good. Doing good. So your ancestors and our ancestors have kind of merged together. I just wanted to let you know that. So we're all in one group now. Mm -hmm. So they tattled on you. <laughs> and they came to as soon as we um, signed in today, um, and they said that you um, you need healing. Your back and your knees have they been bothering you? Back a little bit. Uh, yes. I have arthritis and one knee yeah well i can see your back is is inflamed in the lower back and i can see your right knee is really bad is it right knee no left knee you're telling me your right knee no, no deb sometimes it's the opposite when you look at someone it is the um, right knee but it's okay. their right knee it depends how you look yeah. at it with a, a person back okay i've had that a bit loads of times and then Phil, I don't know if Phil has ever met you. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Hi, Phil. Uh, I Phil. I know you, of do, you. Do you get pain in your shoulder? No. Um, well, in the right shoulder. Yeah, I'm just saying that. Yeah, I'm getting it. I'm picking it yeah, up. Now. From playing softball and throwing the ball real hard <laughs> when I was younger, mm. it, it gives me some problems from time to time. Well, a lot of that's come over. Your, the energy part has come over, so that should be okay at the moment. Okay. Yeah, you're doing some hip energy in your hips, too. So you're going to feel some work in your neck, your shoulders, your arms, down your spine, across your hips, and into your both legs and knees, all the way down, even into your ankles. You may feel nothing. You may feel energy. <laughs> One of the ancestors says we have to get them ready for football season. <laughs> <laughs> Dear you, Lord. You can't spectate if you're in bad health. It was so, he's, he, he looked at the other ones and they were like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And they're all smiling. They do have a sense of humor, you know. Yeah. He said they watch with you. <laughs> I said they enjoy it. <laughs> they see some very good games. <laughs> Roll tight. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't say that. They did. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Impressive. <laughs> it is impressive. They're very funny. Tells you that they've been following you around. They're with you for a while now. Quite a while. He said longer than you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing your back now as well. Mm -hmm. Your shoulders. How do you feel? Feel good. Feel fine. Did you feel anything then, by the way? Or? Not really. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It, I expect it to feel better later. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Drink a lot of water. Yeah. Is he's just like Rick. <laughs> he doesn't feel anything. Just like him. It's all right. He's a quiet, high vibe guy. Mm. Any messages from the ancestors for him? Other than roll tide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does he want to say stop and he gets a card? Yeah, say stop whenever yeah, you want Phil to stop because he's going to give you a card. And yes, I do have a message. Say stop. Stop. He'll shuffle till tomorrow. <laughs> Power. So what that power. means, power. Yeah, what, what that means is you've got the power of the creator. Divine love and wisdom intelligence is available. So you talk to angels or anything like that. You've got the power of you. You're like a creator. Mm -hmm. Very true. <laughs> all, the ancestors, all the ancestors are like, yes, he does. True. <laughs> it's absolutely true. He knows it. In his heart of hearts, he knows it. They are, um, their message is you've been getting a lot of downloads, whether you realize it or not. <laughs> I don't know if you've been dreaming. Uh, I did have a dream, a partial dream just recently, and I don't know exactly what it was about. Yeah. If, if you dream and you remember any of it, it's like a supernatural dream where you're seeing light and angelics or you're seeing the Native Americans. Try and remember to write it down. Keep a pad by the bed with a pen. Um, try and write some of this down because you're getting you're getting messages. Okay. Oh, cool. Thank you. So are you, Jackie. Oh, he's thank not the you. Only, he's not the only one. <laughs> we all are, as, as a matter of fact. Um, I laid down for a nap yesterday, and I was getting flashing pictures really quick, and I didn't remember them when I woke up. I woke up for a brief second, and my third eye opened up, and I was getting all these pictures flashing. I was going, wow. And I can't remember any of them because I fell back asleep. I was really tired yesterday. Hmm. Don't remember a thing. I remember getting them. Don't remember them. No. Okay. All right. So everybody is getting them. Everybody's getting all these things are starting to like, clairvoyance, clear cognizance, clear sentience, all these things are opening up for people. So trust, trust your messages. Trust. Okay. All right. Thank so, you. Love and miss you. you. Love, you. Love you guys. Love you too. Good seeing you. See you later. Uh, let me mute. Okay, Lily. The next one is Celia. Yes. Celia. You are. <laughs> okay. Um, same complaint, the spark here. All the way down here. Can't get rid of it. Did you say spark? It starts there. Oh, right. Oh, oh. Yeah. She has an implant there. Again? Yeah. Oh, my God. Celia, is your third eye open? Uh, No. Trying to give you a blast there as soon as we remove this um, implant. Are you using Bob? Yeah. He loves this job. I bet he does. This was like a... I know. It's more intense um, this time. You, you've not just got one bad. He's locating them. It's mad. He can sniff them out. Feel a difference? A hot, a hot stream. Yeah, say hello to Bob. I'm getting the message. It's really important that we open her third eye today. Okay. Open the third eye. If anyone listening, it, your input's in the back of the neck, and that mm. connects to your third eye. Mm. So you might feel a plush going through you. Relax your eyes. Relax your eyes. Close them. Relax. Tell me when you see the color blue. Beautiful blue. You see no colors? Red. I see red. Still seeing red? It's like a mottled black and red. 
you know, I was picking up then when you were saying red, I was actually getting slight discomfort coming off you from the left side where your root chakra, where your root chakra is. Strange. Oh, it's the back. It's the back. So you got another implant. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Where are you going now? Is that a portal in her root chakra? Is it making you nauseous? Something's making me nauseous. How do you feel now? So, so, so uh, it's a, the pain on this side just came back. It was gone as soon as I felt it left back. You're looking for it. I am? Yeah, don't look for it. You can start you can actually manifest looking for it. Right. Okay, <laughs> close your eyes and see if you see blue. No, still uh, reddish. No, green. Right, just say stop. Have a card. Stop. Signs. So basically, well, that basically Signs. means it's, yeah, signs. Basically, if you ask for help, you'll get the signs. Just look, look for them. But don't look for that pain there. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't. I actually, you know, try to forget yeah. it. Because mm. if you overthink something, you can manifest it. Yeah, yeah, correct. Expect your, you. your third eye to open. You should start seeing through it. It, it doesn't stay open all the time. It opens cl and closes. So when you're getting messages or downloads, it's going to open and you should start seeing things through it when well, you're what, supposed to. Yeah, what you can do, you can also learn to say to close it and op open it at your will. Yeah. Because if it's open all the time, you'll get a queue of spirits wanting to give messages and stuff like that. <laughs> it normally happens in the morning. I will see people walking. So your third eye is open. I thought you said it was closed. No, today, uh, only in the morning, like oh, okay. 5 a.m., 5 a.m., 4.30, when I wake up Kids. and I go into my office, I will see people walking in my, my living room because I can see my living room from where I am right now. You've got a part-time third eye. <laughs> it's good to have that. You don't want to open all the time. Really I always thought that it was my husband because... He goes to bed at around four and five o'clock. He's up all night. That's when he creates his music and, and writes songs. And so I thought he was, so I will go out there and, and find nobody. Everything is black. And the place we used to, where I, my business was, I used to see knights on horseback walking through the walls. And uh, it really looked good. It was great, great. And I checked it out and it was a Cromwell battleground where my building was. <laughs> so it's crazy but it really looked nice nice i was thinking that's worth at least a million dollars <laughs> so i thought should i get a spade out and start digging but uh yeah thank you i think yeah. it's feeling better right now yeah thank you you're so welcome. much guys you're welcome. you're welcome lily the next one libby hi hi libby hello hello phil hello i'm asking for healing for my bones so uh, I can't, I'm not eligible for teeth because the bones aren't strong enough to hold dentures or um, implants, uh, not uh, whatever you call them. Um, and what was the, um, my neck. I was diagnosed in 2014 with fourth degree degenerative disc disease, which is why I've been taking pain medicine for so many years. Now I've worked my way almost completely off the pain medicine. I never take it unless I just can't stand it. And I do my housework in little tiny increments or I don't do it at all. So I'm learning to live with the pain and I've got a new naturopath doctor to see. Um, so I want to stay away from the, the people who write the prescriptions have to have a special license to write those. Ones. They won't help me work my way off of it. They want you hooked. So mm. I'm doing it on my own to hell with it. Good for you. And I feel so much more clear. And I'm praying for my third eye to open. I tap. I listen to a certain Hertz music. I ground at least an hour or more every day working in my garden barefooted. This is what I'm doing. I'm in a lot of pain, and the doctor said I will wind up with a broken neck. I live alone, and that scares the hell out of me. And I sleep with this on for support at night, this neck brace, neck collar. 
I bought off Amazon and it's why do, so why do you helpful. let doctors scare you? Don't why do you believe them? Uh it run it runs it. My dad had it, my brother had it. Doesn't mean I you does it. doesn't mean you have to take it. I saw the x-rays and I have to take okay. care of myself. But who are you? Who are you? Are you a, are you a, just a human or are you are you are you a you, you take back your power and say, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have fourth degree degenerative disc disease. So do I, Libby. No, so you do? But, uh, yes, but I don't let it, I, I don't accept it. So you you take back your power. Rebuke it. You're not I just, rebuke you, it. You're just human. You're not just human. You, you I, I, think, it, right? I, think, I think what Debbie, uh, that means is that you mentioned fear. And remember, doctors want your want to prescribe you as much as possible because they get paid for it. So the fear, let that go. Let that go. Um, yeah. They're they're in it for the money. They're not in it for you. Oh, I know this. I was married the one. So I, it, to a so, I, I know what shit. I give up are. on these. I give up on these human doctors anymore. There's no Hippocratic oath anymore any longer. So just. You know, you take back your power and realize who you are. You're not just a human at flesh and bones. You know, we okay. are we are connected to the creator my, all the time. My children wake me up when they're when they're uh, spending the night at my house saying that the position of my neck, they see that bone sticking out there and I feel it separate. And I think the density, the diagnosis of the bone density in my teeth is telling me that's connected to that neck. So I know that the fourth degree may be fifth degree by now. I haven't seen a doctor since 2014 regarding my neck. Um, I had an MRI last summer and the doctor said that the internal medicine specialist said my neck is fine, but I know that I need this thing for sleep. Otherwise, otherwise that bone is separating i don't want it to break and here i am alone um but a doctor you're... and on the mri just told you you're fine but yet you're telling me something different so you're the accepting pain, and my and my children are telling me what they yeah, see. yeah. C can i say something a little bit you could be trying to manifest that to happen exactly by overthinking it how do, how do you manifest when you're asleep no, you just say you worry that it could do this, that, and the other. You worry about everything else. You worry about the doctors. It's your mindset's becoming manifesting that. You got to let it all go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Stop. Stop saying that you have it. And and I don't even talk about my back issues or my or that I have that. I haven't talked about it in years that I have that. I was diagnosed with that, but I don't even talk about it. it doesn't even come right. in. He doesn't ever hear me say it. Do you know that maybe last September I broke my ankle and told me Achilles and I still went to work and I didn't go to the hospital. I just carried on. I went seven weeks later because it wasn't it wasn't getting fixed. And then I realized what was up. But I've just led me life. I just carried on. I've carried on. Yeah. Well, that's all we can do. And I'm yeah. doing the thing. No, but we don't we don't manifest any illness. We don't let it you know, stand in our power and heal ourselves and, and picture yourself healed. Picture that's I'm what so I'm much saying. Better I, yeah. than I was in 2014. Um, so my, my bone density is why I'm asking for a healing. These teeth, I want them fixed. They're ugly. You feel that little bit? Any energies there? I feel lighter. Good. Much lighter. Yeah. My my breath goes all the way down. He corrected my chakras. Hmm. Sometimes that it can be a problem. Out of balance. Out about energies out of balance can be a problem. <sighs> what about those bones in my teeth? I was mainly doing your neck. The bones. Oh. I, as you say, the teeth. I did. I did your. I did your teeth and gums. Yeah. Yeah. As oh. you say. As you say, your teeth. You said your teeth's ugly. Well. No, they may not. They're not ugly. They're just different. Oh, well, yeah. I don't think you would like to look like this. And it keeps me from going out in public. Yeah. We just... can see everybody. So I'm not a candidate for dentures at this mm. point. So they, I want to learn what to do to strengthen those bones. I don't know what to do. I've never heard of it. Well, that's what I, that's what we just did. Okay. I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you all.
You're welcome, honey. Yeah. Say stop. I want stop. I'm sure you had that last time. Divine guidance. Divine guidance. Yeah. Basically, well, that means uh, probably your intuition. You're being guided. Oh, yeah. That's great. Okay. No implants, Bill. No. And Deb. No. Yay! But if you want, you, you, you don't want one, do you? <laughs> no, we've had plenty. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. Olivia, I'd like to add, uh, try to envision a beautiful, healthy, white set of teeth, okay? And a beautiful oh. smile on your face. Try to envision this. I was given this vision, and I have my teeth coming and breaking and coming out too. And I yeah. trust that one day, this will be my, my, my reality, is another full set of beautiful, healthy, white teeth, Okay. Thank you for that. Yeah. Um, I will add that this didn't happen until I had COVID, COVID, long COVID in 2020. Right. Six yeah. months later, I started spitting out teeth. Yeah. I'm trying to hang on to what I got. I know. But they're loose. <laughs> they won't even clean my teeth. They're so loose. Yeah. But replace that negative talk with beautiful, with a beautiful vision of positivity. Okay. I will do that. Thank okay. you for that. That's a good idea. Love you all. Love okay. you too, honey. Thank you, Daphne. Okay. We yeah. have here, we have here, um, she came late, but she's for her cat. Yeah, I think she's gone. Okay. Cat. Oh, she's uh, great. Kathy. Uh, yeah, she oh, got... she's gone. Okay. I did not see her. Okay. Diane. Diane, Diane. honey. Hi there. Hi. 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 Just for a scan? Oh, Diane, you have implants too. Yeah, I thought that maybe. You got them in your back. Have you been feeling any pain in your back? Not really, no. I'm tired, maybe. Mm -hmm. You've got actually three um, lower, middle, and the upper back, right, right below your neck. Phil, you're going to have Bob take yeah, care yeah, of Yeah, yeah, he's doing it now. <sighs> yeah, he, I'm doing a healing around your heart and the heart muscle itself. Now we're doing uh, your respiratory system. Can you take a deep breath for me? Slow out, deep in, slowly out. Okay, so the whole heart muscle and the valves around it all needed repair. I don't know whether this was future or now. Um, and then the respiratory system all connected in with that. Um, actually took me inside. I was inside there seeing all this. That was the weirdest feeling. <laughs> I, but I was, everything everything yeah. looks really good now. Yeah, I was, I was picking up that shoulder pain, back back of your neck, and I think this is stress related. Okay. Do you get do you have stress? Um, I'm not too bad actually. I did have shoulder pain. I had uh, my uh, shoulder pain for about a year and a half, but it's eased off now. Mm. Um, but I don't. I try not to get too stressed. Um, I think. I think what what. Because I was told that what they're saying is if you're under stress, that is your weak point, and that's where you get your pain back. Uh, so okay. I, I get what they're doing. I, I thought it's stress related in that way. Yeah. But I, I've, I've removed it. So hopefully that Thank won't you. come back. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. There, I'm trying to see if there's any um, portals outside the house, outside, north side of the house do you have a chimney uh, no, fireplace we don't Fire? have a fireplace no is there bricks yeah north side of the house would be a garage yeah there's a garage out. A what it's a, a garage a, brick a garage yeah are there any bricks on that side yeah it's by there's a portal there oh. i see i see bricks and i see a portal I'm trying to point Phil there. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the garage, and then there's. Uh, a, Deb, I, thought, I, I thought you wanted to do it then. <laughs> no, I don't want to go in the portal. <laughs> okay, I get. I've, I meant closing. Yeah, I get. You can send one of the um, other people or one of your. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll go in with it. I mean, I'm not a portal diver. <laughs> I'm a healer. <laughs> there's an office that joins on to the wall that joins the, the garage um so i'm in there a lot for work ah uh, well that explains it yeah so dog follow you in there 
Yes, he does. He's beside me in there. Oh, it's an ancestor, a feet, an old woman. It was showing me it's here. <laughs> okay. What is it? Show me where the portal was. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say it was an ancestor? Like a family spirit. Oh, oh. It was showing me where the portal was. She uh, very quite an old one. Oh, how sweet. Yeah. I was telling you the north side of the house where the bricks are <laughs> on that side. <laughs> I could see it. Instead, old granny showed her. <laughs> no, I, I, great, great, I, great I, granny. <laughs> I, I was locating it, but I just put a bit in. Uh, yeah. We have lots of helpers. See, it has to be a woman to show you, Phil. <laughs> she, she was asking me, because I, I'm partially merged with Hermes, she's saying, is he an alien? <laughs> <laughs> yep, he is. It's, they're celestial beings. They're not aliens. Yeah. Yeah, that, look, that's what she said. Alien to her, if you get what I mean. I don't think she's like, seen that sort. It's, he was like a demigod. I take him because he can demolish things with his hands. Yes. Right. I'll close, shall I close the portal or do you want to do it? Yeah, I think, no, you can do it. I mean, I, I don't care. You want me to do it? No, I'm, I'm doing it. Okay. What I do is I close it here. But I send booby traps there, so if they try and open it again, it, it, the booby mm. trap. It, it, when enemies was there, destroyed a bit. Every, they all ran. I think they've uh, they know our work. They didn't take us on really. Right, it's done. That was fun. That was fun. All right, now you're safe. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah, it's it's the first. You want a card? It's the first time I've seen them run. They didn't take us on. That's the right way, me. Makes life easier, that. <laughs> I had one earlier, Phil, but if, if you want to go hmm? again. I think what? I had a card there earlier, but if, if you want to go again, go that's fine. Right, things have changed now, haven't they? <laughs> oh, yeah. <Right> here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop, please. What card did you have? I oh. had, Rags had forgiveness, and did I have divine guidance? Or yeah, you, you now got abundance. So arrival oh. abundance it can be wealth or spiritual growth. And if oh, you if you've had a portal inside there, uh, imp did you have implants? Yeah, implants and also the pain. Yeah. Now they've gone, then your spiritual growth will carry on if you get what I mean. You, you haven't got oh. anything stopping you. That's brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. The next one for the cast of Cast, Cast, Mac. Hi, Cast. Hi, Phil. Hi, Deb. Hi, Rick. Hi. How are you doing? Hi, Hi Cast. Very nice to see you all. Hello. I'm so glad that you clicked me and said, are you here? And I was like, but I'm out and I'm not. I think you'd still be here. But I need your help with my the card. He's having real problems. Do you need to know what's been having the problem? Or are you, do you want to just try and connect with him? We can just try and connect. It's up to you. Yes, if you'll move across here, he might be fidgety. <laughs> yeah. There he is. There he is. Say hello, everybody. This is no chance. Bestie, come on. Best. Yes, come here. Come here a minute, good boy. Oh. Come on. What's, it, what's his name? Sylvester or Vesti. Hmm. Good boy, just stay there a minute. I know. I, I hope you turn me off again. Vesti, come here. I got him. Did you get him? Yeah. I got him. Okay. Get him, Phil? Yeah. You want me to, I can bring him forward again if you want. I got him. Do you know, one thing I'm picking up, he's got an headache. I didn't know cats oh. had headaches. Has he got a headache? Oh, Please don't tell me he's got teeth problems. I didn't know he had, but maybe he has. No, <laughs> just don't tell me that. Mm. He's got stomach problems? He's had stomach problems. I'm also getting backache. How old is he? 11, but he was attacked on his back. So that would make sense now. Right. All right, well, what are you getting, Kath? Um, well, several things. So... Um, about four or five weeks ago, he was attacked by a very, very large cat, and they he ripped the back of all his back, center of his back. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and then with the heat, he's really struggled because he's, as you see, he's very heavy third. And uh, in the last week to ten days, he's been acting really, really different, strange. It's almost like he's on the dementia spectrum. He's like he can be in somewhere, and he's like, oh, I live here. Oh. I you know, in some, you know when a patient's got dementia and yeah. they stand in the spot and they don't know to move forward or he, I, I bring him downstairs and he's like, oh, am I supposed to eat now? Oh, and am I supposed to? He doesn't, yeah. he's, he's, 
stunned. Um, he's stunned. I'm picking up some. Oh, I'm being told as well. I'm picking up. He's got trauma. Up he's got trauma from that accident. That's why he's got an headache. That's why he. Don't, that's why he's yeah. a bit cuckoo. He's also got a, a, a spiritual parasite from the actual injury. I'm not surprised. I'm being told. I'm being told. Yeah. And also it's... another weird thing he does, Phil, which is he, he normally has very many places in the house. He can sit, sleep, whatever. He seems to be drawn, which is the weirdest thing ever. And I know it's been really hot, so it would be cool for him. But he he's sleeping and staying on the toilet seat upstairs. It's like there's a portal up there or there's something there because he, he won't go to his bed. He's not playing with his toys. He's, we used to talk, you know, we're really connected, me and my cat. Nothing. It's like he's mm. void. It's not here. He's very trauma. There's something going I think he's got an he's got implant. An attachment and or trauma. No, he's got an implant. Oh my God, well, please get it out of him because he's, he's not okay. well. You, you, can't point, you can't point him back on because there's a lot of work. Of course you can. Come here, Danny. Come here, sweetheart. The, the, a good the trauma oh, is, the, the, is the biggest thing we got to release. Come here, Danny. Like just a minute. He won't. <laughs> yes, 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 just stay there, darling. That's a good boy. Come hold here. Him, hold him by the scruff for a minute. If okay. you hold him by the, the scruff. Right, just stay like, there. And the back there. of the neck. And there we go. Here. You got him there. He's a good boy. You're getting some healing. It's lovely. You like the healing. You're a healing pussy cat, so this is nice. Thank you very much. It's gonna yeah, that, uh, so calf, much calf. Some you haven't seen. It. I, he's I got use, a, He's got an implant. Yeah, I I use a spiritual light being that I created, and it's like a, a chipmunk, and it eats them. So I'm I'm glad you can't see it. <laughs> Probably oh, don't. He's, he's honestly been so different, so zombified. He's been. He's never been like the way he is at the minute. Yeah, they, uh, we were talking about this earlier. To get you, they get the animals. Oh, he's done it again. Monkey, monkey. Is he OTT now than what he was earlier? Uh, OTT in what sense? Is he over the top? Is he like what he's doing now all the time? Or is this being all a bit... All the time. He's, he's, he's not present. He's not with me anymore. Yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not being too much now. I'm just wondering. No, if, if he's, it's he's like more subtle like... today. He's very right, okay. making small improvements, but he, he looks at his toys and as if to say, "What am I supposed to do with them?" And even the food, he goes, and it's all, almost he looks like, "What am I doing on this planet? What am I doing here? What is this place?" He doesn't remember. They, things they've things also, I'm going mean, to tell you something that they they poison the food for animals. Oh, no. Be care, very careful what you buy for your animals. Purina yeah. is toxic food any company even if it says holistic look who they who owns them if it's owned by purina purina do not buy that food it's there are animals going into seizures there because of the the manufacture of the food i have a, a stool in the back in the kitchen and he literally would normally walk in and start eating his food he sits on the stools if say what am I do now? And I have to place him at his food. And he goes, oh, yeah, I remember. And he's even like going to the toilet and things. He's like disorientated where he is. It's yeah. massively affected. Yeah, just yeah. just be careful. There's, Deb, there's... Deb, just watch what you say on YouTube live. <laughs> I'm, it's on private. I don't right. care what I say right now. I really, right. truly don't care yeah. what I say. I'm, I'm, it, this is very serious. People need to be careful what they're feeding their animals and read who manufactures it. They are, yeah. they are attacking our animals. Yeah, I hear you. I, Sophie can can remove this if she wants, but I mean, I'm telling you, they are really, really going after. But I, I do know he's changed since he was a he was scratched here. So it was like a, I don't know if he's got a. That's been an entrance for them. It's around his where his Adam's apple would be. There's a mark there, and I've been using different, dressing it and doing different things with it, but. Um, it's the, just the, yeah, the spiritual parasite might have brought in the implant. They, they use, well, it needs to leave and all, um, be gone yeah. quick. Let's see how it goes overnight. Well, he's purring happily now, that's good. But um, as I say before, he never ever went to the toilet, you know, as in, as in on the sat in that bathroom. He wasn't interested whatsoever. So I'm wondering if there's a portal there because he's literally staying all night. And I'm like, what are you doing there? You've got Loads of places to sleep on, but it's, it's acting really strange. I think the mixture of the implant and the trauma. Yeah, it was a really vicious attack by this cat. It was he's a, pretty, he's a real bully. He, he could be on top of the toilet seat to be aware of everything. He's probably nervous uh, because of what happened. 
He's just hiding from, I mean, and he's hiding it's interesting. a lot. <laughs> it's interesting. There is a portal in that bathroom. It's a, so how it's can a good, I- it's a, good, it's a good portal. It's not a bad portal, but I mean, it's a portal. I, I don't see anything evil with it, but- I'll, I'll it. Well, if I, uh, Who's, this, whose this portal is, is it? Is it his? So if this is going to sound strange because I know this cat is from Syria. And I know he's with me. And when he was attacked, I asked the Syrian people if they would help him. So I wonder if they've opened, I've opened it by saying that. He is a cat from Syria. But, but, but on a toilet? I mean, no, but it's, it's like that back wall. Or there's some, it just, it's really, really, really weird. I don't know. He's never been interested in whatsoever in that room. And that's, and I understand. It, it's easy so maybe it's like 40 degrees here. It's, it's easy. It's cool. It's easy to create portals on water. Is it? Water all the time. Right. Is what? Sorry, say that again. The water is always there. So it's probably the best place in the house. Yeah. Is it? Uh, you name me anywhere in yeah, the house that's got, like, name me anywhere in the house that's got water. Only there. All the time. But can I close it? What can I do with it? I, I think leave it open. I didn't pick anything. Leave it open? Why? There. Yeah, there's nothing bad about it. <laughs> If it's, a good, if, if it's a good portal, nothing dark's going to come through. Right. Sure. Yeah. Is that yeah. okay? All right. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Nothing dark will come through that. Well, maybe he's going back and forth to Syria every night. I don't know, but he is from <laughs> Syria. I know he's from Syria. I've had that before. You might so, be down. When did you think about that at the time? I've known for a long time he was from Syria. I, I, when, was, when did you connect to him? To the Syrian people. When, hmm. When he was poorly, I said to them, I was asking Archangel Raphael, I was asking, I said, anybody that's around there, please can heal, because this is just, it's like he's had dementia, it's like he's not, he looks at this planet as if to say, where the hell am I? What do we do on this planet? He's behaving like he's vacant, that there's no, and at one point I was worried he'd gone blind, because I was like, he's just not present. But if he's had all of those things, then no wonder, bless him. And I hope now he'll start to feel his old self. I was, I, was going to, I was going to say most animals don't really are not like us, but they can have a soul. So yeah. he, he is probably astro into to what you brought in. He's probably going there and coming back here. I think <laughs> so. Honestly, he just behaves and he looks at me sometimes and say, "What is this place? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing here? What? Are, you know, can I go back well, there? If, if you got the crap it's knocked out of you, you're weird. You know? yeah. no, and no, he keeps I, hiding. I, I was going to say. It was just like us then. <laughs> what are we yeah. doing here? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, but I was really worried that he was dying because he kept the cats that hide a lot when they um, are, are dying and or are traumatized or very ill. And he's yeah. been doing that as well. It's he's got. No, he's bit, not. He's not dying. He's got a trauma. Good. Good. Yeah. You're he not did, dying. He did He's get a. Very... He did get a trauma though. Yes, a very very yeah. bad trauma. It was really vicious, and he, he literally screamed. He ran into the door, and he was screaming when it happened. And, he, you know, he's, he's very placid, easy going, and laid back, and for him to do that. And then, obviously, I've dressed his wind and looked after him, but it's really not him for six, I think. And then the heat, is, again, because he's so 40 degrees with a thick, heavy coat to carry around everywhere with you, it's been awful for him as well, but... Anyway, guys, bless you, bless you, bless you. I'm so meant to have been on this call and I'm really appreciate how I got to connect with you because I, if he starts to feel better, I'll let you know immediately. Please do. Yeah, so cats you do will. go to TV if they need to then. It clear, he's obviously made his own portal. Be careful what you ask for is what he, I'm saying to you. He, he might be getting healing from that. Yeah, well, I think he has because oh, once yeah. I started asking for that, he did improve quite a bit, yeah. but I, it just then made him vacant. So I don't know whether he, he was half there and half here. <laughs> He certainly hasn't been present here for a while. Well, any week, in long enough. You want to say stuff and I'll get in the car. Okay, I'll say hey, la, 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 la. stop. It's getting dark here. Truth, it, yeah, and, yeah. truth and integrity. Uh, go on, Deb. I can't say that. Integrity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Okay, so I'm speaking the truth, or you're speaking the truth. So that's mm. wonderful. That's good. So I thank the Syrian people, but please can they make sure he stays back on our planet and then let I, him connect I, back I, in? I, I think you can help him release his trauma to the angelics. Okay, and let I'll him go that forward. For yeah, that's fine. I will do that. Yeah, definitely. Bless you guys. Honestly, thank you. And, uh, and, and forgive the cat. It did. Maybe, maybe no, 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 no. no, no. no I understand for why I need to do that. That's yeah. fair enough. I will. 
he, in fact, that same cat was very seriously traumatized by humans. So that's why that's why he was lashing out. Was yeah, I was going to say so you're, not, you're not supposed to hang them. <laughs> it's a joke. A joke. No, no, I wouldn't do that. Not traumatized by, by cats, was it? <laughs> no, no. Thank you. Anyway, guys, so appreciated. Okay. Thank you. Rest right. says thank you too. Yeah. Well, what are we doing now? Stop. Calf, by the way, we do we're doing humans at the moment. So all right, sorry, if, I'll leave you if, to it now. Thank you, know, you so if, much. If, if you want, if you want any healing at the end. Oh, thank so, you so much okay. for that. Anyway, Rusty says thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Lily. Yeah, I'll be the last one. I would like to request to look here on my throat again. Yeah. Back. Yeah, and I feel like it is. On the front it's not inside it's on the front it's something like on the thyroid i don't know it looks like a noose noose i can see a spiritual noose there like somebody's trying to hang you a spiritual one not something you could see i can see like somebody has a rope there so that what does it feel like to you yeah like there's something here yeah it is. Do, you see, do you see it phil i'm trying to Trying to find locate where out white. It's on the left side more. Yeah. Have you heard from uh, that lady? Maybe. The woman that you cut out of your life because she, you know the one that we uh, thought was dark magic. Yeah. She called. <laughs> that she called. That's what I was picking up. The, I was thinking past life, past life. No past life. She called you. Mm, she wanted. Today to come over and I said no, I'm busy. <laughs> I'm really busy today. Why don't you block her phone number? Block her from calling you. She's on Facebook. You can block her on there too. Oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't know whether. But, um. Yeah, I can block her. It's all right. We're uh, Phil is um looking into this. You feel it easing yet? Hmm. Is it easing yet? What is, easing? is it ease? Is it easing up yet? Do you feel it going away? Yeah, I think it because I cannot feel. No, I think I'm. You think you what? Looking oh, uh, like I. How do you call it when you drink a tablet in Deutsch? It is looking when you drink a tablet and then it goes. You feel it go down. Yeah, I just feel it. Oh, it's not the same as before. I have to drink. Yeah, I feel it moved down. Did I eat it? No, you didn't eat it. Basically, the more pressure on your neck, the more pressure on her rope, on her neck. <clears throat> so whatever she does, if anyone does anything to you, it mm -hmm. goes, it happens to them as well. So anytime she she does anything to you, mm -hmm. it's gonna happen to her too. So if she does anything to you again, it's gonna happen to her, the same thing to her. Because she was, what was happening is that she, it was like she put a noose, like a, a rope around your neck. And that's mm -hmm. what you were feeling. She was using that black magic on you again. Mm, that's why she called me today. You must be saying, okay. Yeah. You need to <laughs> just, just, just block her. Mm -hmm. Okay. And keep in touch with us when things happen. Mm -hmm. That's why she asked, how are you? Mm -hmm. That's if, why. If you think about it, it's. Uh, it's stopping your throat chakra from speaking. When you speak and you this hurts, you don't speak as much. So uh -huh. she's doing like a spell to stop you speaking. Mm. Mm. Funny. Is it better? I have to to drink a lot because it feels really like I I just have a big tablet down. Yeah. Does it feel better than before? Now she feels like she has a big a lump in her throat that <laughs> she swallowed. <laughs> She swallowed something I swallowed big. A tablet. Like she swallowed a, a big tablet and it's stuck in her throat. Oh, you know what? It's smaller. It's smaller. But what we'll do, we'll, we'll give you some healing on it because obviously you had that rope around you. So it's still got mm -hmm. the after effects. The rope's now gone, but you've mm -hmm. still got the uh, whatever happened. She had a rope around your neck. So we're going to heal it because she had the rope around your neck. So it felt like she was choking you. Yeah, that's why you feel like you swallowed a pill because she was she, she was she was holding a rope there like she was choking you. She probably cloned you in wax. Hmm? Is it better? 
Yeah, little bit. Okay. This energy stays. Any of the healing that energy um, today for your pets yeah. or for yourself, it stays with you for seven days. Please drink a lot of water. Um, it stays stuff as well. Stop. Not a fine. Uh, bit of frequency. Music. I'm giving you two. Oh, that's special. Music and harmony. So a bit of music will make harmony come. Cool. So music can be frequency, meditation, connect with nature. Mm -hmm. Frequency to ground yourself. It will ground your neck problems, mm -hmm. if you get what I mean. Because the energy, mm -hmm. the energies that have been put there needs to go. Mm -hmm. uh, and ask the angels to bring harmony to you, which will happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you very much. I think we're done. Okay. Is there anyone else? Much. Anybody else want any healing? <laughs> All right. I want to thank I want to thank everybody for joining us. If you want to be on our mailing list, please send me a note on Facebook or on our email, uh, healteachlove at gmail.com, and I will add you to the mailing list so that you'll know when our uh, webinars are going to be. I have not made up the schedule for next month. I'm just waiting for some information uh, about, uh, I think, a, a video that we're making. Uh, I think we're making a video for something. I can't remember what it's for. Uh, Sophie wants us to make a video, and it's a lot of, uh, to get back our 12 DNA. It's with, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> with a bunch of other people, and I, I don't know. Yeah, at the moment, Wait, I was I, waiting. I was, I was waiting to do the schedule. Yeah, I was saying at the moment we've only got two DNAs working. The rest is your cluster's junk. So if we can get our power DNA, it means we can manifest loads of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so we're going to do a video, a special video to release. And uh, when we get that schedule, then I'll get our schedule for next month. So have a wonderful week or two. I think it's a holiday weekend next weekend. Is it next weekend? I think in the United States and Canada. Is it Labor Day weekend here? Is it Labor Day next weekend too, Daphne, in Canada? You don't know. I don't know. You think you're coming up with different ones? Now we've got a, um, where they're going to give us the truth on September 30th for all North America. That's another special day they've created. So I'm looking forward to that one. Okay. <laughs> At Labor Day, who wants to who wants to have a, a day? I mean, work as something to celebrate. Come on. Well, that's Labor Day is next weekend in the United States, so it's a long weekend. So I I wasn't going to schedule a webinar for that weekend because usually people it's the last summer type weekend for people in the eastern northeast of the United States. So people or even central, they like to go away and do things and beachy cool kind of stuff that we usually have a very low attendance for these yeah so, we, we, we've got a bank holiday so we've got an extra day yeah so but, i i thought i you know i'd schedule it for the following start the schedule the following weekend so yeah it is I, labor day on the monday yeah so it's same thing for here so yeah. yeah i thought it was also for canada it's one 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 here yeah so take care everyone and i am um, we love you it's great seeing you Thank you.